Hi. <clears throat> I just like I I died a little bit. Hello. Um, scratchy voice aside. I hope you guys are doing well. That that was uh Fuki Rita, and that was uh that was Teddo's new force bank. This is V one. It sounds so good. I'm so proud of her. Um, that short cover was done by uh Slayer Slayer on on YouTube. I'll put a link in the chat. Uh, just to to uh credit where credit is due. Anyway, yeah. I'm just excited that she has her new voice bank, and it sounds very good, so I wanted to play a song with the new voice bank. Anyway, um, I'm here, and I'm gonna play Zelda. And it's just, uh, we're, we're doing, um, side quest, side questy things. Because that is what we will be doing. And also, one more thing before I start, um, is that I had a site with Wix, and... You know, what I'm actually going to have to do is probably change my description on Twitch if it has that link. I'm not sure if it does. Um, actually, it doesn't. Oh, no, it does. Okay. But I had a site with Wix. But the thing about Wix was after, like, a couple months, I, I basically had free reign of... I could add whatever I wanted on my site. It, like... Just whatever, whatever dog shit I wanted, I could add. To use Oop, that's tutorial. And after a point, I just couldn't add any more things. Like, I couldn't add any more um, images. And I was like, hey, what's up? And apparently, uh, you can kind of add however many in images you want until a certain amount of time. And then you have to start paying. And you only have like 500 megabytes, but because of I was uploading uploading however much I wanted, I had like 200. I had I had like 200 megabytes over the limit, so I literally could not add more or delete until I could add more because I was just like way over that limit, without like actually just purging my whole site. So I teamed up with um. I teamed up with Shrine Fox Mods, who is currently working on the uh, Persona 5 Lime Sauce mod right now. And I've been doing stuff for that mod as well. Uh, some, some sprites and things. And um, he helped me uh, with the fucking uh, the, the, the site. So he got a... He used a Tumblr account, like a side Tumblr account, and uh, just edited the HTML to look like my site. And now I can add however much I want. He, he showed me how to do it, how to add how, however many uh, things I wanted. And now I can just add all the shit I could ever want and have a site with free reign to do whatever I want, which is fantastic. I could not thank him enough, um, and I, I'm I'm very glad. I did not know that Tumblr had this much HTML customization, like dead ass. I had no idea. So good shit. I'm gonna have to go into uh, Twitch ah, and change the link because it is no longer that, and to a Tumblr page. I hate changing fucking i hate constantly changing uh websites and stuff but I'll, I'll continue talking about this oh it's also on my twitch or, or my discord too whatever i'll fix that after but i'll, I'll continue talking about this con um, conversation in the game but yeah i linked it in chat it's a new site and it actually works, and that's what matters. Oh, wrong one, Waker. There we go. Looks great, thanks. Very happy with it. He did a great job. 
Pushing up my drink. Anyway, uh, let me know if the audio is too loud or too quiet. It is a bit loud for me. I'll turn that down. My end. Cannot hear my thoughts. Anyway. Oh, fuck. Um, what were we doing? Not too loud? Great. I'm so glad that I have- my headphones have, like, a feature where I can lower the volume just for the headphones. Like, just for me. I can lower- I can make it mute with my headphones, but you guys would still be able to hear it. It's really cool. You did the trading quest last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now, what do we do? Oh, right! We were gonna do the pictograph quest. Oh, yeah. Did we start that? I think we did, but I forgot what he wanted us to take a picture of. I don't want to talk to you. He gave me the quest. Okay. Good to know. I just need to remember what he wants from me. Because he wanted me to take a picture of something, but I don't remember what. What did you want? There's someone who, despite constant rejection, never learns- Oh, okay. It's the mailman. We have to watch the mailman, right? <clears throat> Can I just, like, since I assume the mailman isn't here anymore... I can erase this, and this, and this. Since I assume the mailman isn't here anymore, what mailbox does he deliver it to? Is it the one down near the- near the front? Is it this one? And I assume it's a Rito. I thought you did this quest at night, but I guess you don't. Maybe it might be him. He could be delivering the mail. It could be a, a, a wife's boyfriend situation. Who knows? Um, anyway. Do I have to reset the day to do this? Did that fucker just fart on me? Oh my god. I had no idea they did this. Unless I just picked up like a really stinky one. Yeah. A real stink- <gasps> <laughs> He fell! He's gonna drown! No! <laughs> Bro, he can't find how to get back up! Oh no! Yep. Yep. No, it's over this way! I'll save you, little guy. No, fuck! No, stop, 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 stop. I'm gonna end up drowning myself. Oh, this okay, this fucker just wants to die. I'm not gonna steal that right from him, so, you know. 
Can you hookshot it? Maybe. I feel like that would be a little unethical, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a little unethical. Did I just miss the guy? I, I think I actually legitimately just missed him. That pig deserves to fucking die. Okay, I actually legitimately just missed him. I saw him fucking walking away from the thing, and I'm like, it, was he actually the dude? Okay. <laughs> well, let's change the time. Right, left, down. <laughs> God damn it. Well, anyway, <clears throat> now that I know who the dude is... Um, what I wanted to say... Originally, when talking about my site, is I don't like constantly changing websites because the thing is, here here's the thing. Come here. Here's the thing. When it comes to making a brand, you don't want to constantly be changing it. Why I wanted a site to begin with in the first place is because it's an easy place to see all of my stuff without having to dig through Twitter and me posting about cum and whatever. Cause that's, that's inappropriate. You, a business, a businessman would not want that, you know? However, um, I, I do notice that a lot of people, artists particularly, uh, go through usernames like they're candy. And I think that's kind of weird if you're trying to, like, I guess make a brand. I don't know. Or kind of make a name for yourself. Because, like, if you're constantly changing your username or constantly changing the site that people are supposed to view your shit, then nobody's not gonna know where to find you. It's just like, I always see people like, oh, I've changed my username for the eighth time this month. And I'm like, how is anybody going to find you? You haven't changed your username in 14 years? Yeah. I feel like most people, I'll be honest, I feel as if, if, if most people that don't do like, don't draw or don't like do art don't usually change their username the ones that i notice that do this a lot are artists it's like streamers sometimes and artists but the only time i notice streamers do it is if they're just trying to like concise their name uh, i'll take uh hackerling into example because she used to be called Octoling Hacker, but Hackerling is just kind of an easier... It, it's a bit easier to, to, to remember than Octoling Hacker, and a little less of a mouthful. So it would make sense to, to, to change your name like that. And it isn't too different. But, like, completely 100% changing your handle is, is very interesting choice that I've seen a lot of artists do. I feel like that's, like, the one way to kill your engagement. And it's like, you don't even have to be, like, really into it as a, like, art as a business. But... You, it doesn't even I could possibly give a passing grade. I'm afraid you must retake the shot. When you snap, you must be sure to not snap it too close up. And yet, at the same time... 
Uh, what did I do wrong? Chat, what did I do wrong with this photo? Anyway, um... And just, like, if you want at least engagement, you don't even have to be wanting work. It could just be for fun. But if you want people to, like, remember your name and find your account so that you can just generally share your work, nobody's gonna find you if you're constantly changing your name. That's just me, though. I haven't changed my name in years. Actual years. Um... I think... When was the last... Oh, fuck. When did I make the name Cheesy Draws? I'd say that's 2016. So it's like seven years. Isn't the pictograph the letter itself? I don't think so. He wants to know who's doing it, though. That's what I understood. I thought he wanted to know who was doing it. I'm gonna look up how to fucking do this quest, because the pictographs are so finicky. I hate to do this, but I just find that they're just really, really, really finicky. Don't get too close to him or he will stop. Wait until the man- And take a picture of the whole guy from head to toes and put- If he's, um, if the letter is already in the box, it's too late. Okay, you do have to take a picture of him. It looks like they took it from, like, here. Mm, let's see, like- Here. Well, now I have to speed up the game again. But, yeah. You just can't have the letter B in the box already. <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's just my, my two cents that nobody asked for about art and an online presence. <laughs> Nobody asked, didn't care. But, yeah, that's just why I wanted, a, like, one singular site where I didn't want, like, to constantly be changing the site that my, um... My shit is on, because it's confusing. nice mailbox photo. Let me tell you what, that is a nice mailbox photo. Dead ass. To be honest. That's what the kids call aesthetic. You see? Framed nicely. No tangent lines. Where the, the end of the, the platform is and the box. The box goes a little lower than the line, so it's not a tangent. You have to see in the background, the, the pillar, and then the rocks on the side framing the shot. It's great! Look at that. That is a good photo. Where is this fucker? How slow does this guy walk? Oh. 
He better fucking take that. If he does not take this, I'm- This quest is gonna be bullshit for me. I'm not gonna like this quest if he does not take this fucking photo. You! Oh, okay, he likes it. Now this is a finely snapped pictograph indeed. Hmm, now, they say love is blind, but what could he be thinking mailing all these letters? Should not ridicule him, though. He reminds me of myself back in the innocence of my youth. Memories of those bittersweet summer days coming rushing back to me. But I digress. Very good, young sir. Must congratulate you on passing your first test. Should promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Uh, li like how? <laughs> Very well! Next in my second command. You must search for this town's most timid and cowardly resident. I intend to flog his spirit so as to ten uh, lend him some backbone. The individual flinches and jumps at even the slightest surprise, so I need you to catch the instant of pure fear on the individual's face. I actually don't know who could that who that could be. He flinches with the- okay, wait, 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 wait. He flinches when the pictograph is open to him. Right? Since this person's face alone will not tell the complete story, you must snap a head-to-toe picture so you can see the moment of fear reverberates through his body. I guess I'll just, like, open up my camera to anyone in this town. Not you. Not any of you. It's a dude. It's not a chick. So, it's none of these people. I feel like you're just broody. Not you. You know who I think it could be? I feel like it's this guy. It is not this guy. Wasn't there some dude up here? Like, up on these little things? Oh, fuck. Is it you? No. Am I doing this wrong? Oof. Like, is this not actually how this is supposed to work? Oh. Just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out of here before I, um, you could say boo. But say, you look rather familiar for the street urchin. Have we perhaps met someplace? I don't remember this guy. What do you mean? You don't mean my daughter, do you? Because my daughter has already been rescued from the Forsaken Fortress. Why, well, she even returned with a huge load of lovely, glittering, delicious treasure. Thanks to her little incident, we've become filthy rich overnight. Oh, this is the old dude that would fucking run after me. I mean, filthy. Isn't a good girl in the world that was as good of a child as my Maggie. You may not have been able to help me, but there's no harm done. I'm sure you'll accomplish something in your life someday. In the meaning, in meanwhile, my daughter has blossomed into quite the little beauty. Run along. Go spend some time with her. Weird pill, but okay. That's ugly, bitch. Oh, to think I would have um, would survive my ordeal and return to this town. 
And to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, opulent house, it's like a dream come true. But no, no, it's a nightmare without him by my side. It's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress, that sweet boy who gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from the cursed island. Just hearing his name lifts my spirits. Moe, the w be wonderful moblin from the for Forsaken Fortress. Aww. Oh, Mo. Why Mo? It's Mo, not Moe. I'm stupid. Don't. Don't at me. Leave me alone. I can't read! I'm always. I. <laughs> Man, I'm a moron. I'm always writing heartfelt letters filled with my overflowing emotions, but why don't you answer me, Mo? Because he can't read. This is so bad. Oh, terribly bad. By the way, uh, oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Could you take this letter just finished inking and deliver it to the post box for me? I beg you. <laughs> Moe. Yeah, I know. The internet infects us all, yeah. You've made Maggie so happy. Don't you dare forget, but you must promise not to read it. The girl's, um, secrets of a girl's heart to be shared with only so who she desires. Yeah, I, I'll do it. Uh, look, I'm not, I'm not gonna step in the way of, of relationships. Whoever makes you happy, makes you happy. That's what I like to say. <clears throat> this post box, the post box is near Dragon. Uh, post is five rupees. Yeah, no problem. Has hereby been accepted for delivery. Thank you for using the island postal service. Eh, no problem. Um, let's see. Is it you? Not you. Is it you? Oh, fuck! Well, I barely can take your picture, so I really hope it's not you. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. God damn it! Who is it? Is it this guy? No. Who the fuck is it? I swear to god, I, I've torn through every person on this island. And it can't be you, because you're just fucking beaming confidence. Am I doing this wrong, chat? Like, I just need to know if I've been doing it wrong, or if I'm just not finding the right person. someone in here all right there's nobody here during the day uh, what is this quest who is it I've literally talked to everyone in this fucking island
Wait, it's actually this guy. Okay. I just looked up a fucking guide because nothing is working and it actually is this guy. But I didn't notice his expression changing when I opened up the camera. What? It is this guy! Go to the coffee shop upstairs, startle the lone man in the corner to get his surprise look. You can roll into his table and drop dishes, but the easiest way is to stand in the spot shown there. Okay. Maybe you actually just have to take his picture, and then... But he's not scared! You have to roll? This quest is fucking stupid. God, I hate every quest in this game. Good Christ, I loathe all of them. And the camera is so finicky! Oh! <laughs> God, I hope that's okay. Good Christ. My lord. I'm sorry. I don't know what's up with the quests in these in this game, but they just don't jive with me, dude. They just annoy me to no end. <laughs> Okay, he's fine with this. Individual must be the town's most timid of denizens. Fear is his constant companion. I cannot complain, young sir. You have passed in the most admirable manner. Say, and is it just me, or is this chap quite the striking individual? This means you've passed my second test. Okay. What else do you want? My final command, thank god. Open your heart and mind and listen to what I have to say. Somewhere in this town, a couple, a man and a woman, whose hearts are secretly filled with thoughts of each other, and yet for reasons unknown, the two have never spoken. Even when they happen by chance to pass each other in the road, they each steal a brief... For... Fear... Shut up. Glance at one of another, but they suppress the longing in their hearts. Cannot let this tragedy go on any longer for the sake of this town and its own desires. I need to help these poor souls. Shall be become Cupid, archer of love. These two are timid, timid burglars in the house of love. And you must capture a pictograph. I'm thinking their thoughts, words. If and when a hope beyond hope, you manage to complete the third task, you shall be my number one pupil. Okay. The only person that I think can roam the whole town is fucking this guy. Because he's the only dude that I ever see roaming the whole town. So I think it's him, but I don't know who with. Maybe her.
This is gonna take a while. Oh, I'm so glad I have speed up. Now I have to find a spot. Well, obviously not her, because he fucking ignored her. Um... I don't think it's... Her, but there is a friend because there's a friend in this shot. Oh, he goes this way. It's this chick. It is obviously this chick. Okay. These fucking little bastards. Oh, god damn it, you fuckers. And plus, I got my shot wrong. Damn it! You fucking rat bastards. This is why I fucking hate children. Good Christ. Leave me alone. Damn. Yeah, I missed it. I have to redo it. I wonder if I can just reset the cycle. Oh my god, I can. Cheesy hates children? Real lore? Everybody gets sick instantly. How do you fucking do this with the fucking rap bastard kids? How do you do this with these fucking rat bastard children? Okay, you don't have to hide, you just do it here. Oh no, but you're not gonna get a full full. Yeah. 
Well, I hope that fucking works, because that cycle takes fucking forever. Oh, wait, the shop is up here. I don't want to fucking talk to you guys. Fucking annoying scamps. So did we get the perfect spherical thing? Not yet. I've just been doing the pictograph quest, but I did get it. I just finished it. I had no idea these two would get along so splend splendidly. You can see the love there, hidden but thriving. Even I, who have lived in this town for so many long years, did not realize in the slightest the extent of their passion. You have done well, Link. I shall probably take the pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Yeah, he is an absolute unit. Now then, my young sir, you have completed all the tasks I have set for you. My doubts um, about you have been cleared up. I shall hereby be pr um, be proud to call you my assistant and reward you with fur um, you further for your fine efforts. I offer you this. Ah! Ah! The elderly lady next door tells me it has value in sorts. Wait. I want the picto box. From here onward, come rain or wind, many heart shall rest in comfortable ease. At the same time, your heart will learn the love that pictography gives. Oh, ho, I want the new pictograph. Wait, what? How do I get the... Huh? I thought I was supposed to get the fucking colored picto box. Not a fucking joy pendant. What is this shit? Once you have tra presented all three photos, travel to the Forest Haven and look for a blight bright glowing firefly to the right of the entrance in the potion shop. Catch it in an empty bottle and go back to Windfall. Give it to the pictographer and he will upgrade to the deluxe picto box. Interesting. Well. Water. This is, um... The island with the Deku tree, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't care. What the fuck is the song? Down, right, left, up. Okay. God, I fucking hate going into the forest haven. Going to this dungeon, like, going into this dungeon is literally, like, one of the worst fucking things. Or this island is, like, one of the worst fucking things to do in this game. I'm dead ass. I fucking hate having to go back here. 
Uh, I I would rather do anything than come back to this fucking island. Trying to wrap my head around why would they want you to do all this and what indication they give you to have to do this. I, like he didn't say, hey, uh, actually, to upgrade your picto box, uh, maybe you should try to find a little firefly. Like he didn't even say, oh, find a firefly and then just not tell you where to find it. No, he just omitted the whole thing in general. So like, how the fuck am I even supposed to know that I need to get a fucking firefly for this? So, and look for a bright glowing firefly right of the entrance. Here it is. Like, how did people even know to do this? And like when I talked to him again, he wasn't like, hey, uh, I can upgrade your picto box in any any case scenario. No, he just Just Nope, nothing. Just get that nugget of knowledge from the uh from the manual bundled we didn't put with the game. Oh yeah, that's yeah. It probably was in the manual, to be honest. You only knew about it because of the manual, like most things. Damn! That blows. I think they might have meant to tell you when you got the figurine maker. That'd be my guess, since it's ma- uh, it's that- Because that's the main place it's used. Maybe. Is that for the, like, the figurine quest line that I'm currently not doing? Is that why I feared the secret light had been extinguished forever? Is that truly one of the long-fabled forest fireflies? Oh, glory! The father of all fetch quests, truly. My fine assistant, Link, for ages has been said that the forest fireflies possess a mythical power. For your efforts, I shall place this one inside your picto box. From now on, hand me your picto box. Um, come on now, hand me your picto box for only a moment. And with that... Viewed with a mythical light. Now I can take color pictographs. This pictograph, uh, now those pictographs of yours have, and that have forever lacked the scintillating palette, that's a word, of life should henceforth show the world as it was meant to be in living color. Now that was quite as easy, th um, that was quite an easy thing to do after all. Ah, well, such is life. Now go out there and snap pictographs, snap them in color for me. For all those years I spent unable to do so. Okay. Oh boy, how did you know? How did you know I needed this specific item? I don't know. Well, I finished the pictograph quest. What else is there to do? I am stuck. What else is there for me to do? Apart from take a picture of the moon. Well, you guys... 
figure out quests really quick about what to do. I need to use the restroom. I'm gonna be right back. See if you can find any anything that I haven't done yet. I'm back. Uh, take down the octopus monsters. We also have to do the ghost ship, but I don't remember how to do that. You can open the and find the remaining treasure charts. Have you unlocked the green and blue potions? I have not unlocked green and blue potions. I actually had no idea the green and blue potions were even in this game. Um. Have you done the Windfall Forsaken Fortress discount events? No. Have you learned the hurricane spin? I have not learned that either. Have you done the Dragon Roost Cavern or Forbidden Fortress um, Forbidden Woods treasure hunts? Um That's a lot of stuff that I wasn't expecting. How okay, how do you unlock green and blue potions? Because that seems like a quick thing to do. Or since we're already on Windfall, what is the Windfall Forsaken Fortress thing? Sorry, I'm just, uh, you know, wasting time. To give, uh, to get the potions, you just have to give, uh, the green and blue chew jelly to, uh, to the dock. He's a fellow I've had an eye on lately. He's such a distinguished chin. And he's always walking back and forth. <laughs> Very distinguished. Okay, so while I'm giving these, uh, these to the dock, 
Uh, okay. So how come in the... Huh? <laughs> okay. How come... <laughs> How common do you think incest is on the uh, is on this island with such few people? Well, chat member, that's a very interesting thing for you to, to think about. Um. <coughs> mm. Probably quite. Unless unless it's like a thing that people talk about, like, when they have children on this island, they, they, like, specifically tell their kids, like, hey, this, this, this island has very few people. Uh, so, if you want to meet somebody new that you find interest, interest in, maybe use a boat. They reproduce by mitosis. It's called Windfall, not Alabama. Chad, can, can you, okay. What what is the what is the discount events the windfall uh, the windfall discount events and the game is afoot for when it comes to making potions I am true and I'm a true artist I have been shown something rare inspiration bubbles up from within me Ooh, wait for it oh here it comes Ooh, that's it 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 that's the sparkle I was looking for. That sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka! And I use this tree jelly to create something brand new, unheard of kind of potion. It's been 10 years since I began my now legendary studies of chew jelly. I must begin mixing this new potion before my first new inspiration in years vanishes. I love Link just watching in the background like, what the fuck is going on, bro? It, it is ready at last, my new chew jelly concoction. It's still piping hot, and I want you to have this first batch, my fellow jelly connoisseur. la de do my next project is to create a gripping advertisement of my new potion. You can come back anytime. Well, since I actually don't need this and I want to to redo my elixir, I'm gonna have to go back to uh, the island and, and get my new elixir. I'm just, I'm just gonna drink this. <laughs> I love how Link looks so unhappy. He was like, this is, this shit looks disgusting. Okay, this is one I would keep though. This is why I did the green one first. Cause this is like the the everything up. Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Ooh, ah, this is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Perhaps it indicates a new breed. Uh this is same dialogue. In 15? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Where can I find uh, blue cheese? I'm looking on Google for discounts, but I'm just finding the actual game. Oops. Have you done the auctions? I only... I think I only did one auction. And it was to get the, um... The treasure chart. Let me find where to find blue chew jellies, and then when I come back, I'll do the auctions. Blue Choo Choo locations. Um, 
let's see. Let me open up my map. There is actually one over there. So let's go to Star Island. Bring out my hook shot. I think there actually is an updated, uh, a different sale other than this one. Cause this is actually the swift sale. I have a, if you, if folks don't know, I have a mod on right now that changes the normal sale to the swift sale, but there is another sale that is here instead of the swift sale that you can get in the auction. And I think it's called the swift air sale, the swift air sale, which is an incredibly unique name, but I, I think that exists. And I guess it's really, really fast. Don't tell me why I haven't done that yet. I guess I've just been busy, but when I get all of these chews, I can give it a shot and see if it's there. And if I'm actually correct. So this chew will be under a boulder. I guess I didn't feel like I needed it because the swift sail is already fast it is. Swifter is just a a, a a feather duster. It's actually a swiffer. Swiffer. Not swifter, but swiffer. I have a swiffer. Swiffers are really good. I like swiffers. Aw, oh, this is the island with the, the dennis. God damn it, I forgot about the dennis. Oh. Which boulder is it under? Is it not here anymore? I don't want to talk to you. Fuck off. Where is it? Do they disappear? I guess they disappear. Oh wait, no, there it is. There it is, there it is. No, no, no. Oh, you can't do that with shoes. That sucks. I wonder if I can just reset the time. Right, down, left. Let's see. Yes! Infinite chew jelly is mine, baby! Oh, never mind. Wait, what if it's- what if it resets after a day? Hold on. <laughs> Wait, I just did the same mistake twice. I love how I'm just in the rock. It's my home. Where I reside. Take it. That's so lame. Okay. Well, there's one literally at Mother and Child, so I'll just go to Mother and Child. Shh, shh, shh. 
Well, now we know that they don't respawn. That's great. I swear there is a chew here. Is it like under something? I just hit my mic, I'm sorry. At the qua- uh, At the quadrant? What do you mean cool draw? Oh, hey! Oh, I already got this one. God damn it. Oh, that's so annoying. I don't want to talk to you. I didn't even look at you. I don't want to talk to you. Why can't I skip your dialogue? Okay. There is one. Is that the one who offers you those statues? Yeah. It's one of them. Northern Fairy Island. It's actually literally right here. This way. I never was killing the blue chews because they were annoying and I didn't feel like killing them. Are there only 50? No, there are 23 in the game. Still, that's a little annoying because I don't know which ones I have killed and which ones I have not. By the way, chat, is the ghost ship story related or is it a side quest? I only remember uh, them from the dungeon where you get the bow and arrow. You mean, to choose technically it's a side quest, but you have to do it for the main quest. Will the AC not move my door? Alright. I love how I look like. Since it's, uh, since it has a Triforce chart. And. I love how, like, I have a, 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 a site of all the blue chews, but, like, when you look up the island, it just shows you a picture of what the island looks like and not where on the map it is! Okay. There is one on paw print, too. Sailing, 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 sailing. There it is. I see you. I see. I see you. ever supposed to know how what the moon looks like I never can see the moon in this game it's near the treasure chest on the island Ooh, there's two my luck uh oh did I already get both of these 
literally my unluck. Okay, so there's one over at Overlook. It's hidden on top of the windmill. Guess what, uh... What, what's hidden on top of the windmill? Because I know the, the, the light is on top of there and I hit it with a, with an arrow. Oh shit! Oh, the moon? Oh, that's a good place to, to get a picture of the moon. You're right, you genius. My God, you're a genius. You are so right. You know, I can actually do this island since I have the hookshot now. Secret cave? What is that? What do you mean secret cave? Oh, that's where like all of the 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 holes are. Okay, that's kind of neat. Not like I'm gonna use it, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Hmm. Where is the best place to shout on this island? There we go. Hey! Here's that little fucker. Well, I am glad I'm glad I came back here because I forgot I never did this island. I want to know what's up top. Some stuffy stuffs. Perfectly timed. Oh no! A place where I'm gonna have to test my strength! And kill everything! Oh no! The enemies in this game are so difficult. Chad, I think this is where I'm gonna have my game over. Oh no. What a shame. That was the only blue choo-choo on the island, the one I just killed. Oh, 
I was hoping that I could, like, take off his... Ah, oh, fucker. Oh no, he does so much damage. There we go. I literally had one hit left in him. Love stealing their weapons and breaking their bones with them. It's true. I just never grab the weapons for some reason. I don't know why, it's just not my first instinct. Oh no, there's gonna be two fucking dark nuts in here. Can I finish the thing? Oh no! How am I ever gonna deal with it? Aw, oh, fucker. Two whiz robes. How am I ever gonna deal with it? Oh no! Combat was is 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 f fun in this game. I just wish it was, you know, more difficult. ambush and I and I literally only took like half a heart of damage I feel like it feel this feels like a testing room for enemies Feel like grabbing the weapons because they're just so slow. Wow, that was so difficult. I took f four hearts of damage. <laughs> I was literally completely outnumbered and with some of the harder fucking dark nuts, but oh no. Well, anyway, um, that's that done. Oh. Now I'm doing the wrong song. Where it's more fun playing as a kid. I'm sure it is. I feel like if I was lucky enough to have this game as a small baby, 
that plowing through uh, semi-difficult enemies would be would feel great. But I, I must say, like the the combat definitely doesn't age very well. Like again, it's fun. It's fun to pull off moves, but everybody's just so weak. Yep. So I'll go to paw print next. I feel like I already got the one at paw print, but... I do really like this game. I mean it. I do. But I feel like it has a lot of issues that I don't hear people talking about. I don't know if it's just me and how I play video games. But I find that a lot of the side quests in this game are somewhat boring. Or just really like convoluted for no reason. You could say that about a lot of Zelda games, but I feel like there's like you could say like, oh, fucking Majora's Mask is like that, but I feel like there's more substance for me to care about the characters and care about doing the fetch quests that I don't completely mind. Of course, I definitely have my issues with some of the stuff in Majora. I feel like, uh, there should be a speed up option in the game. The fact that they're not, there isn't, is kind of criminal. Because there's a lot of waiting that you have to do, and waiting can take a long time, even with the, uh, the speed up time thing. Especially when you're waiting for specific people. And their cycles, you know. Jump into the northeastern statue. Into? Oh, on to. What do you mean, jump onto the northeastern statue? Wind Waker crawled so Breath of the Wild could run. I get that, yeah. Jump onto the northeastern statue to make the blue choo choo appear. Oh, there's also a thing over there, I just noticed. How do I reach that? the fuck? The kinder egg looking thing. I guess? I also feel like there's too much manual only stuff in this game. The fact that you basically need the manual to play certain parts of this game is a bit obnoxious. I don't like having to use um, manuals and tutorials to play games because I feel like I'm cheating. But when the game basically makes you have to have the manual to, to know how to do certain stuff, it, I can't really help it. Can I really not reach that?
How do I jump onto this? I can't, like, get on top. I'm not fond of collect X number of items for quest Z. I prefer it to happen organically. Oh, yeah, like... I mean, I could say that about the, um, the bug quests in Twilight Princess. Bug quests are kind of annoying. How do I do this? I can't- what do you mean jump onto the thing? You can't get on top of it! And how do I get to that hole over there? I can't get on top, it's true. Does it want you to crawl in the hole? No, 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 in, in the hole is like a, a little another dungeon area. There's another hole in there, you see? There's like, you can see the hole in there. But there's a hole over that way. I think it wants you to climb on, in, to on top of this, but I can't. Crawl. See? Hole. This place is full, full of holes. It is. But it doesn't have like a ladder to get on top of the egg. The cannon thing is annoying. It really is. It's pissing me off. Can you crawl like a baby for me? That's beautiful. Thank you. Christ. Okay, how do I do this? Chat members. And again, I feel like I have a lot of this moment in chat. It, it, not in chat, but in this game. I have a lot of, how the fuck do I do this? To the point where it's frustrating. What, this is Paw Print Island. It says, climb, jump onto the northeastern statue of the choo-choo to make the blue choo-choo appear. I, I'm, I, need, I need to collect blue chews. And there's also a hole over there. Hook shot the tree. I can't reach the tree. I just tried that. I, I, I just did that. Chat member. Oh, the fucking wind changed direction. You can't hook shot from your boat, I don't think. Look, I I'll show you what I mean. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I can get to this island. However, I, I just tried this. I literally just tried this. It doesn't reach. supposed to get it if I get rigid can you start from the other end what do you mean other end do you mean those little islands what are you talking about other end <laughs> uh, I'll give the other tree a shot that's what I'm doing now This is it. I'm gonna piss myself. Oh, fucking Christ. God, this game is so fucking annoying sometimes. 
anyway. Why can't I get the other tree, but I can get this tree, and they're both equally the, the same length apart? I guess think you're you're frying chicken in there. like such a fucking chore. Good, good Christ, man. Are we done? Thank you. Wow, one big, big ambush and I only took uh, a half a heart of, uh, of damage. I wish this game's combat was more, more, uh, more challenging. Like, look, I didn't take too much damage, all right? The whips, the whi ah, two hundred rupees. Okay. The whips robes in this game have such weird designs. Yeah, they do, and they make they make funny noises. I don't I don't mind them though. I like a lot of the enemy design in this game. Look, I say it feels like a chore because it's really not that difficult. I mean that. <sighs> That's why I kind of don't want to do, like, the pit of a hundred trials in this game. Because it's just going to be, like, eh. awkwardly tilting the camera while getting incinerated from four different directions is meh. I'd like to see Dark Nuts in, in Tears of the Kingdom. Me too. I really like Breath of the Wild's combat, to be honest. I was actually pretty good at it. Uh, and then I stopped playing, and then I sucked. But... Yep. How do you get on top of this fucking rock? Chat, how do you get on top of this fucking rock to spawn this blue chew? What does it want from me? I tried to, like, jump off and do, like, get on top of here, but that's not even enough, like, height to do this. This island blows. Fuck. 
Just climb over. He can't climb. He just refuses to climb on the, the rock. I don't get it, and I'm going to a different island. There are other places to get blue chews, and this is not one of them that I plan to do. Uh, let's see. Spectacle Island! That is to the left. Like, look. I, I understand. I, I do, again, I do like this game a lot. I definitely probably would not be able to count this as my favorite Zelda game. I think it's really fun. I've been playing it for a very long time, so I, I feel like I'm okay to give that that answer. I still haven't beaten it, but I'm very close. What's your favorite Zelda? I would say Majora's Mask was really fun for me. I really enjoyed Majora. I had my issues with Majora, but I felt like the side quests were a lot less annoying to deal with because the characters, in my opinion, had a lot of substance. You have to jump on the smaller rocks for the blue choo-choo up here. I can't- look, dude, I, I was trying to jump on the smaller rocks at first, but I can't even jump on the smaller rocks. So if I can't jump on the smaller rocks, then how am I supposed to get anywhere? On the sand under the wooden bridge. And this is all for blue chew jelly. Use Rivali's Gale. Man, I wish! Fucking man, I wish. Okay, Spectacle Isle. Ignoring paw print, Western Fairy. I don't have enough chew jelly, I know. Ten. I need five more. But I felt- I feel like there's just a, a lot of side questing in this game. And the thing about me is that when I'm playing a game for the first time, it's not even because I'm streaming. I'll be honest, it's not even because I'm streaming. It's because I like to see what a game has to offer. So when I play a game for the first time, I like to do all the stuff. Because I, I want to experience the game in full. If I, if I don't experience a game in full, then how, how am I going to stand in an argument if somebody's like, Well, um, if I say, hey, Wind Waker isn't my favorite game, and then somebody's like, oh, but you didn't actually play the whole game. You didn't experience the whole game, so you can't really speak that opinion. You know? Think about that. However, if I'm doing all the side quests, getting all the things, getting all the heart pieces, then I can say, yes, I have played the whole game. I have done all the side quests, and I can say, no. Near the South Palm Tree. And plus, I just like being a completionist, to be honest. I, it's, it's something I like to do. I'm, I'm a stutter, stubborn bastard. So I like completing games. Rock Spire. It's just something that's fun for me. Well, did you destroy all the platforms in the ocean? No, fake fan. It's true. Cheesy, you just set yourself up for a 999 Korok run. Well, look. 
I, I am doing almost all the shit in this game, but I have a sanity. I have a sanity. I actually didn't set myself up for a 999 Korok run because of the fact that I am not doing the 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 figurines in this game. There there is a part where I drop the line. Climb the slope on one side of the island and remove the boulders. Okay. I I'm not doing the uh the fucking whatchamacallits, the, 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 the things, the, the items. So, you know, I know when my, my limits end. I know when I have my limits. I have a sanity that I- Oh, I have a sanity that I prefer to- 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 to keep alive, so... I- I do not set myself up for a 999 Korok. Because a 999 Korok run would also kill my sanity. I don't know how Vinny did it. I think he's an insane moron. I don't know how the completionist did it. I think he's also an insane moron. But, you know what? If that makes you happy, then it makes you happy. However, I am willing to do a lot of things in video games. But some stuff just crosses the line. <laughs> like, get it, like getting all of the moons in Mario Odyssey. Or getting all of the Koroks in Breath of the Wild. I will not. Vinny didn't. Uh, Vinny didn't do 900, uh, 900 corks. Oh, I thought he did. I thought he got all of them. I, I know you did. And they did it so we don't have to. Exactly. Well, I'm going to Tingle Isle, which means that I can get my uh, my chart looked at. And then, but then Vinny did all the corrects. I guess I am misremembering. It's crazy because I watched him play that whole game. <laughs> I watched that whole playthrough. I am stupid. But yeah, y'all did it so that I don't have to. Especially if it's like, if I I might, I probably would have considered doing the the statues if the reward was big enough. If let's say I had to do all the statues to get like a crazy fucking magic shield or something, I would have done it. However, that is not the what happened and it's just it's nothing it's a nothing burger if i do all the stuff so i don't feel much need to or if it's like an incredibly huge story beat the reason why all of the side quests in majora's mask are so fun is because the stories feel like they matter you feel like you're learning stuff about all of these characters so no matter how annoying the side quest is you do feel like that there is a point to it Small wooden side link. Link will find a blue choo choo. I don't see a blue choo choo nowhere. Y 
Near the small wooden sign on Tangle Island, this is where Link will find a choo-choo. Oh. There he is. God damn it! Tangle probably stole that choo-choo before I could. Eastern Fairy Island. This feels like Simon's Quest, where you get to crouch in a corner for a tornado to appear. It's kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> also, the treasure trap thing is interesting, but it's a bit obtuse, I feel. It's because you never know where you're going to find a treasure chart. So you basically have to go back and go to every single island. Hoping that there's a, like a cave that you missed with a treasure chart. I only have like a couple. At least the fairy chart tells you which ones you've been to. This one doesn't at all. Actually, this one doesn't tell you. I thought this one told you, but it doesn't. I lied. I really wish that with those islands if you've been there and you've gotten the thing and you can just cross it off. It would be very great to be able to mark up the map. Doesn't have to be a permanent marker, it can just be something. Nice. And now, Thorned Fairy Island. Like a real explorer. Yeah! Yeah. It would just be a lot easier to, to do stuff. And the thing is, I guess... Uh, I, like a real explorer you gotta mark uh those you've explored but with an actual pen and paper but who does that look this is a video game a uh, fucking magic erase marker can exist if you want it to but like maybe what they were going for is like if you're a kid you can draw the map out yourself but i don't piece of paper on hand? I have a pen! Who does anymore? I'm like the only person in Florida probably that has a printer. Why do I have a printer? I don't know. I have a printer because like if I remember correctly like my parents gave it to me because they're like you're gonna need you, you, you should get a printer because you don't have one. I'm like I don't think I need a printer and they're like here have a printer. Okay. <laughs> I think that's the only reason I have a printer, is because my parents wanted me to have a printer. Ow! Ow! Fucking, yeah. It is 
spread the sail. I do feel like it gets a little boring for now, every now and then. However. the next one uh needle rock okay so bird's peak is next and then it's to to the left of the map why do you want blue chews anyway because i need to make a specific potion I, I need two more chew jellies. The dude wanted 15 pieces of chew jelly to make a blue potion, which restores both your hearts and your mana. So I just wanted to unlock that for the store and for completion of sake. I need two more. Search. Uh, so it's, uh, look for the wooden peg sticking out of the wall above the steel door on the island. Okay. Oh, it's up there. Well, the steel door is no longer there because I got rid of it. One more! It's on Stone Watcher Island. So that's the only reason I need blue shoes, is just because, uh, completionist sake. I do think this game looks really nice. <sighs> I feel like I've been to this one, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, I've been to this one. Once I do this, I'll probably end the stream, and then we can do the auctions next uh, next stream. I think the auctions could be a, f a fun start. Funny thing is that all for getting the recipe for blue potions, how the fuck is the potion sh shop owner supposed to get blue cheese supply restocked? That is a great question. Maybe I guess one blue chew jelly is enough for like 60 potions or something. I don't know. That would be a little unreasonable, I would say. Dead ass, you can never see the moon in this game. That's the North Star, I think. 
Yeah, it is. That's cool. I never even realized that the North Star existed in this game. That's kind of neat. I'm yawning. Hopefully I did not get this one. If I did, then I'm just gonna have to go to Needle Rock. Which I don't think I got the one on Needle Rock, because I know exactly what island Needle Rock is. So if I didn't get it on this one, it should definitely be on Needle Rock. Thing is, we were just testing you. I already have a full restock of blue chews in the other room. That's probably it, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I already- yeah, I already did this one. Behind the stone-faced rock that is no longer there. Also, I never remember the songs in this game. Like, I swear- like, I have memory issues when it comes with songs in Zelda games. That was not the right song, either. But, like, I don't know, the ga the songs in this game are just really forgetful for me. I just don't remember any of them. Yeah, down, down, left, right, up. Now you can do it, right? Yay! I did it! Finally, Blue Choo Choo come! Finally, bro! Finally! at last my new chew jelly concoction I want you to have the first batch okay all right now I'll go sit and wait in front of the auction house and next stream I'll do an auction See if I can get the 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 other sale. This is the auction house, right? No, it's not. Maybe? Yes? No? Possibly? Do you think looks Link puts amiibos in the bottle? You know what? Yes. I literally did that for no other reason than just to be a fucking chaotic mess. Let me make it night so I can just get ready for next stream. Right, left, down. Hey! Hey, wait a minute, 
Christmas. Mm. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Next stream, I will do some more side quests. Probably some of the ones that were mentioned here. I really need to upload the bots for this stream so that people can watch and enjoy. Anyway, thank you guys for showing up. I appreciate it. More stuff to come. Um, maybe a stream on, um, on fucking Friday. Maybe. We'll see. I guess. That would be cool and fun and awesome. Let's see who I can send you guys to. Uh, I'm gonna send you guys to Limes. Cause she is uh, playing Half-Life 2, episode two. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. And thank you guys for showing up. I appreciate it. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye-bye.